we're gonna learn how to contour. Pick a color two to three shades darker than your normal skin tone. Add you black. Apply it in the hollow to your cheek. Don't forget to draw a penis on your nose. Change the shape of your face completely. Take a shade like white mixed with silver to give you a nice glow. Blending is optional. You can use charcoal or anything else you find around the house, like crayons or oil paint or your cat. Contouring has been one of the most requested things that I've ever been asked by my clients. And honestly, it's kind of intimidating. I'm a fan of super simple contouring. No zebra stripes, no sugar skull designs, no flowers, no clown contour, no camo. People will be looking like they're about to go to war with all this, this beige, yellow, orange, brown paint all over their face. It's just not what we're gonna do today. So if you like to keep it simple like me, just keep on watching. I take a medium coverage concealer that is one shade lighter than my normal skin tone. And I warm up the concealer on the back of my hand like this so that it's more emollient and it's easier to blend out. It gives you a much more natural finish. And if you're using the highlighter color and doubling up as a concealer, I would concentrate the color mainly on the innermost part of your eye here. Bringing it to the top of your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose. Take a damp beauty blender and I just blend it out. And I love using a sponge to blend this out because if you want to keep the concentration of highlight in the areas that you put it, patting it in place with a sponge will really help. Next for my contour color, I'm going to use something really sheer. And this is part of the Hourglass Illum Sheer Color Trio. I'm using the narrowness of my finger edge and applying it in an angle from the top of my ear to the corner of my mouth. Starting from back here, I'm going to pull the color in and st stop at the end of my eye, right there. And you can apply a little more if you want. But the idea is to build color as opposed to applying a ton at a time and then trying to blend it all out. In that angle. And I'm stopping at the outside corner of my eye. And around the nose you want to use the color a little more sparingly. Because I have such a flat pancake face, I am a little more generous than most of you need to be. Actually, when I was younger, I thought that putting a clothespin on my nose would make it look skinnier. This, this is what I did. For hours! Apply a little in this area to make your jaw a little more prominent. I have a slight butt chin, so I'm going to accentuate that. And if you don't have bangs, you can apply it on the forehead as well the corners of the forehead and you'll blend it and meet in the center. Taking a dense brush, I really like the Smith 115 brush. Just use that in circular motions and blend the contour color in circular motions upward into your cheeks so that you don't drag the color down. Most times to locate your cheekbones, all you have to do is make the fish face, but that never worked for me because when you have chubby cheeks like me, it's hard to make your cheekbones come out no matter what face you make. And then you can bring whatever's left on the brush around your jaw. Blend on your forehead. Making sure you get into the hairline so that there's no separation of color. Then 
and I love using a dense bristle because it really helps to fuse any harsh lines. And for the nose contour area, I like to use a thinner brush, and this is the Smith 232 fluffy brush. Go down the side of your nose into your inner brow bone. What I like to do, especially around the nose, is we apply the highlighter. To set the highlight, I like to use Kogendo's Translucent Loose Powder just to lock in the highlight without adding any extra coverage. To set my contour, I like to use a bronzer, and I'm using the Laura Mercier Bronze in number 4 with the Smith 118 brush just to further enhance the contour. And drop off most of the product in the back and blend it forward onto your cheeks. And around the cheek area, I like to go into the hollows of the cheeks, up into a C on the forehead, and down into an E on the jawline. So here you have this really simple contour and highlight. I'm gonna put on some color and then I'll be right back. <laughs> 